Hey people, it is Wednesday, July the 21st, and it is 11.18 in the morning, and it is around 20 degrees Celsius. And I'm just on Queen Street East here, just passing Victoria. And I thought today I would walk along some of these small side streets that run north and south east of Victoria this is the garden district which is neighbor the neighborhood I live in. And the main streets that run north-south are Church and Jarvis and then Sherborne, as well as Victoria, which we just passed. But these little side streets don't really get much coverage or attention, so I thought, why not take a walk along some of these little streets? since it's been quite a while since I've done so. So this is Bond Street. And this is the old part of St. Mike's Hospital. The old historic wing. quite the sprawling hospital building. It has several phases, including a brand new modern phase, which was just completed within the last few years. That's fronting on the corner of Victoria and Queen. And I'm not sure how old this old wing is back here on Bond Street. I wouldn't doubt if it dates from the 1920s, or that's just a guess, but certainly quite old and I hear there are plans to potentially demolish the old wing and replace it with a modern building but I'm not sure what the status status of those plans are this is actually quite a nice structure here I don't know if I'd be in favor of them demolishing the old part of the hospital. I mean, I'm sure there's good reasons to do so. modern parts of the hospital. Shooter Street. St. Michael's Catholic Cathedral Basilica. This is something I've always passed by either from the other side or along Shooter Street, but never actually passing by the main entrance here on Bond Street. And this dates from 1845. So wow, that's quite the old church for sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at this neat little hidden building here. Something I've never noticed before. And beside it is the St. Michael's Choir School. This is quite a nice old building as well here. And this is also the St. Michael's Choir School. Hmm. Nineteen hundred. And this building, I'm not sure what it is. It's part of St. Michael's Hospital. And it dates from 1910, according to the <laughs> very convenient date right there. And it has some very nice detailing. And I believe this house here is a historically designated property. Let's get a closer look. Let's take a little look. Looking south down Bond Street. This is the Mackenzie House. I believe this is a very old building, maybe one of the oldest, named after William Lyon Mackenzie, the first mayor of Toronto from 1834 when Toronto was incorporated as a city. Before that it existed as the town of York. Trying to see when this place was built. 1837? I think 1837. Doesn't have a very clear date as telling you when it was built. <laughs> But in any case, it's certainly one of the oldest houses still remaining in the city. So that's Mackenzie House. There's plenty of signs, but none of them actually say when the house was built. <laughs> they just say when William Lyon Mackenzie was the mayor of Toronto. So I assume that he lived there while he was the mayor. And this is the Bond Place Hotel. 
which is now, I believe, a a temporary home. For people who were homeless, living in the tent cities and whatnot, they get relocated into various hotels around the city. And I think the Bond place is now a location for that. So hopefully one day it will return to being a hotel. Because it was located very conveniently close to Dundas Square. And I had a number of people there as I walked by tell me not to record but they can stick it where the sun don't shine so now we're coming into the Ryerson campus here on this end of Bond Street Here's another very old looking structure. It doesn't seem to have any historical designation in terms of signage or anything, but you can tell just by looking at it that that is definitely a 19th century building. And First Evangelical Lutheran Church. And this, I might be mistaken, but I thought this originally was built as a synagogue and then later became a Greek Orthodox Church. Let's see if there's any signage here. So, St. George's Greek Orthodox Church, but yeah, thought I heard somewhere that it was originally was a synagogue. I'm having trouble forming words today, I don't know. And there's a pretty cool view of the Aura condominium. So now we're in the heart of the Ryerson campus here. And there's the location where the statue of Egerton Ryerson used to stand. <laughs> but as you can see, there's no statue there anymore. It was torn down and I believe they ripped the head off and carted the body down to Lake Ontario and threw it in the water and took the head elsewhere.
So now we'll just dip down to the next small north-south side street. So we'll skip over church. Just look south though, down church. Here's the old Sears Merchandise Warehouse, which is now some very nice lofts and a metro grocery store. And this is Dalhousie Street. And a little fun fact, the EDM artist Dead Mouse used to live in this loft building here and he did lots of videos from his YouTube channel where he would drive around in his supercars coming out of the garage of this building and then picking up a guest and then driving around the city and going for coffee. <laughs> I think one of his most famous videos was when he picked up former mayor Rob Ford and they went driving around in the Lamborghini and went to Tim Hortons. <laughs> he no longer lives here. I think he moved out to the country outside of the city. I guess he had enough of downtown urban living. Dundas Street East. building is starting to rise. It will eventually get up to 52 stories. And here at this site, another high-rise condo will rise. You see they retained just the front facade of these old historic buildings. So I think they'll start digging a huge hole here for the underground parking. I 
think this building will rise to a height of over 40 stories. And this one is brand new. Shooter Street again. And here's a new park that was just recently completed. Right now it doesn't have a very attractive view with a large construction site but eventually this will be a, a nice new residential community with some commercial uses on the ground floor. And it will be cohesive and and rather urban from judging by the renders that I've seen. And this used to be the one of the largest parking lots in the city, which was something of an eyesore in my opinion. Of course, it's not very pleasant to look at right now, but give it a few years. I think uh, this end, fronting on Queen Street, will be a residential tower of over 50 stories. Quite the giant, giant pit. <laughs> and now here we are back at Queen Street. Oh, here's a rendering of that tallest building I just mentioned. In between will be a couple of shorter ones. And then there's the first phase that I showed by that new park. And all in all, it's a pretty awesome view here.
And now here we are at Mutual Street. So now we get to see the other side of this massive construction site. It's a rather nice old building too. I love when buildings are covered with ivy. And this is Richard Bigley Lane. Every little laneway is named here in this part of the city, in most of the city really. Here's what at one time would have been considered a high-end TV. Now it's just here for the taking, although it's probably not working. But then again, it might be. And some nice old historic row houses here. I don't want to get around here. <laughs> Just have to walk around. He parked in my my path. <laughs> Here's another building. I didn't even know that this building was so far along in, con in construction, really. You can see this is just construction chaos around here. Well, that's pretty much true for most of downtown Toronto. And yet another building will rise here. This used to be a, a section of old row houses here. They weren't the nicest. So it's not that much of a loss, but in any case, they were old. They were definitely historic. They were just kind of plain and unattractive. 
But in any case, now they're gone. Not finished. <laughs> at Dundas Street. All I want to do is cross the street. Here's the other side of the old Sears merchandise building. Panga Pizza, that's new, that used to be a subway. Mm. And then this is a brutalist office complex that is hated by many but loved by some. Sort of like an inverted pyramid. Back at the Ryerson campus again. We can get a better look at that office complex.
so this will take us up to Gerard Street, and I guess that's where I will wrap up this video. Maybe I'll do another video in the future, walking the side streets north of uh, Gerard. So I hope you enjoyed this walk from from Bond Street and Queen, and then zigzagging up and down Dalhousie and Mutual. Just getting a look at some of the side streets. Bond Street especially was uh, worth a look. Lots of historic buildings. So leave a comment below if you enjoyed. And like and share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal and via my new merch store. You can also find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue.